Hey besties, so what I'm doing is I'm making this video as a reference point to some of the other Photoshop videos that I had done in the past and some that I'm going to be doing coming up here um, this week. So um, as you can see here, I have, uh, I'm starting a new document and you can make this whatever size you want to. I'm going to go with 12 by 12 because this is going to be adding in a digital paper and turning it into a pattern. So similar to what would be like a pattern fill in um, Publisher or Cricut, you would be doing this as a pattern fill for Photoshop. So I'm turning this into a 12 by 12 um, canvas like I stated and I'm going to go ahead and press create. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place embed it and I'm going to bring in a background that I want to use. Okay, so I'm going to choose one of these troll theme backgrounds here and I'm just going to um, make it into a pattern. So I'll double click it or um, place here, okay? And then I will go ahead and go to edit and then I'm going to go to define pattern. Okay. Now I'm going to press OK. You can change the name of these to, you know, blue glitter, whatever you like, troll blue glitter. I don't normally change the names, but that's just a personal preference. It's really up to you um, how you choose to do it. So now that I have my template here, I am going to go ahead and insert in my pattern. So now I'll go here to my layers panel and I'm going to right click and go to blending options. Now I'm going to go to Pattern Overlay. Now you see how I chose Pattern Overlay, but nothing changed really on my screen right here. You have to actually click on the words Pattern Overlay in order for it to affect any change. So now you can see your pattern and you can, of course, make changes to it. So you can make changes to the scale as you can see here and you've probably seen that in some of my um, other videos. If you ever have in a situation where you see the line all you have to do is just move over your pattern just click on your template and move over your pattern and you may still see it um, here and you just have to raise your scale up slightly and like this um, you can just slide this or you can actually change the number and if it comes to you know this area here on the side you won't see that that will be um, actually covered. So if you want this actual scale, you can, you know, you can just make sure that the line goes here on a place where ultimately nobody will even see it. Or you can just make it larger. And then you can click here where it says pattern. And then here is where you'll see the pattern that I just inserted. And then you have all these other ones. You know whatever you really want to want to add you can do so and this is the one uh, that you'll probably notice from my window gable box video so your options are really unlimited with what you can do here you can add a picture of yourself you know onto a box I wanted to show you guys how you were able to do this and also make it a reference uh, video so you can go back to it and not have to watch a whole video over um, because some people had been asking me about this particular function in Photoshop. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any further questions. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.